Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie, and today I've got a family eco home for you. So I built this house during the eco lifestyle trial weekend. I don't know if you know this, but uh, every now and then the Sims team lets you uh, let uh, the Sims team lets you um, download uh, uh, an expansion pack of their choice for free for a few days. And that way you can test out the items, see whether you like the gameplay or not. And uh, I gotta admit that I was really, really impressed by the, the the items in this pack. I guess, well, it's probably by now it's it's all it's all news. But yeah, I was I have to say it's really it's a really really pretty and super gorgeous pack. I love lots of the like uh what's it called yeah build items so like i mean the items that you use for the exterior so lots of windows and doors and yeah i have to say really really impressed beautiful textures beautiful colors everything is cohesive I have to say this is definitely a very very beautiful pack and i was happy that i could build with it so <laughs> As you can see, I'm trying to come up with some interesting shape of the house. I wanted to make something that looks modern and maybe slightly, slightly quirky, but still very modern, very... Ah, I wanted to say elegant, not sure whether this house is elegant, but I like it. Uh, there was no, like, Pinterest picture inspiration for this one, I was just looking around the neighborhood and uh, and try I, I didn't try to recreate anything but I just tried to make something that would fit the environment so you might have noticed we're in the neighborhood called conifer station and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and uh, when I was uh, I because I wasn't just building with this pack when I uh, when I was testing it out I also tried a bit of gameplay so, um, you probably know that, but part of this pack, um, or this pack includes the so-called NAPs. So those are, I think, Neighborhood Action Plans. I think that's what the uh, abbrevi abbreviation stands for. So I activated two of those, and that's the Modern Development one and the Green Initiative. So the neighborhood is really, really pretty this way. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, and the houses uh, in the neighborhood change as well, so that's why I was like looking around and uh, trying to see whether whether this one would fit, and I think it would. <laughs> so this was like this was me entering the game and just uh, trying to build something for the first time. So I had to delete a bit of the footage, and when I say a bit, I mean a lot, because <laughs> all the times I kept like. Um, like uh, picking uh, the items from the catalog and just looking at them from all possible angles and <laughs> I had a lot of fun, I have to admit that. So um, yeah, I had to uh, cut out that part. But as you can see, I basically talked over the whole exterior, I would say, or like the shape of the house. Uh, I was really happy with the with the wallpapers so yeah the the wooden one everyone loves that one and like it's understandable <laughs> it's really pretty but i really like the the colored ones i'm using uh, lots of yellows and blues in this build and i love how rich uh the colors the colors look it's really pretty and Honestly, I do like this kind of mustardy yellow, so I just had to use it. It, it looks so pretty. I, oh, I love yellow houses, so <laughs> it made sense to use the color. And of course, I was inspired by that color, so I used a lot of yellow in landscaping as well. You can see it right now. Okay, not anymore because I moved uh, to this little um, terrace slash balcony area. And now we're moving into the interior. Wow, that was fast. I talked over a, a long bit. Never mind that. So in the interior, you can see that actually the first uh, sofa that I placed is the one from 
wait, yeah, from Paranormal Stuff Bag. So, um, my idea was to try and see how compatible this bag is with other packs that I own. And uh, I have to say, it's, it's really, it's, it works so nicely with lots of the packs. Uh, it also made me try some new, or not new, old items, but those that I rarely use. Uh, I think in a minute I'll move to the kitchen area. Okay, not now. Yes, I'm trying to make those uh, coffee tables work, but oh my god, they're so big every time, Sims. Oh yeah, here, I'm using that shelf, do you see that? It's from City Living and oh my god, that's a shelf that I basically never use. It's very modern, it's very... like the shape is kind of odd and most of the times the builds that, I'm, that I make, it's just like this kind of shelf doesn't really fit. But here it made so much sense, especially with those... Um, what is it? Is it, is it a hexagonal? the word <laughs> the shapes i use them for the lights and i think they're also maybe on those uh, on those curtains as well so the way this um this shelf is um you know it's like curved in this particular in this like particular way uh it really fit i was really expressed expressed not expressed impressed oh my god language english oh no not today, apparently. Never mind that. So, um, the kitchen is basically finished. I placed just a few items. I didn't want to make it too cluttered. I think, it, like, I do, like, I do enjoy cluttering my builds. I'm, I'm kind of guilty of that. But uh, with the modern style, I don't think that, like, over cluttering it rarely works. Sometimes it does, I think. Sometimes you can make it work, but not as frequently as uh, as I would like to. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there are not that many clutter items here um, because it would feel weird. So here I moved to the second floor or to the first floor, depending on how you use <laughs> how you how you say the whether you say that the ground floor is the first floor or not. You know, you know what I mean. And right now I'm working on the parents' bedroom. So. I had to use the, yes, this eco lifestyle bed. It's so gorgeous, it's so detailed. And I wanted to play around with those wall structures or whatever you call it. And I combined these two together and I was happy with the result. I, it was just like, um, I don't know, I saw them together and I was like, oh, could I combine it? And I could. I, like, I'm not using uh, any mods, so I'm not using uh, the, the tool and so I was quite surprised that actually like the two green pieces fit so well inside the, the iron gold one whatever it is so the bedroom is quite simple uh, I'm using the Moschino uh, cloth rack uh, and it's uh, usable this way uh, I don't know why but uh, this fence it was like um, it was visible because I'm using it on the ground floor it was visible here as well like the top of it was visible so I had to hide it with uh, another fence but it works here I'm working on uh, the third floor and um, I imagine that this would be for a kid so either for a child or a teenager I really wasn't thinking about specifics in this case um, I think maybe someone like who's like, I don't know 12 13 years old so something in in between you know um, the life stages in the Sims are not uh, as accurate so it's not always easy to to build uh, rooms for children/ slash teenagers uh, as you can see I uh, worked with the yellow color here as well. The yellow is just so pretty, like, I just couldn't help it, it's, it's the perfect shade of yellow, so, you can't blame me that I use it. <laughs> um, so here I'm using this little TV, because I, I thought it would be like, perfect 
for a kid. Uh, I also, yeah, like I said, I was combining uh, the pack with other packs and I really enjoyed the city living dresser there as well. I think it worked nicely together. So uh, we're back on the ground floor and here, I think I'm going to work on it. Yes, I'm working on it right now. So this room is a toddler room. Now, uh, the empty room right next to it is a bathroom. And initially, my idea was that uh, basically the door for both of those rooms will be uh, in the living room. So both rooms should have been accessible from the living room. However, uh, I just absolutely hated the way it looked in the living room, like the two doors next to each other. It, it looked so odd and so out of place. So instead I decided that um, the bathroom uh, would be accessible via the toddler's room. Now, in real life, that wouldn't make much sense. I, I admit that, but it's The Sims, so your toddlers won't mind you wandering off there and just, you know, using the bathroom next to them. So, <laughs> yeah, and um, also I have to admit that this is not a full bathroom, it's just a half bath. Uh, but I think it doesn't really matter. I just wanted uh, uh, to have a place for your sims because I don't know about you, but I've heard that lots of uh, people that play the sims prefer uh, not to have too many floors and because your sims, but basically it, it takes them forever to go somewhere. So I like to make more bathrooms, especially when uh, I have more floors. So here I'm working on the entrance hall. I have to say it's not a big room, but I really, really uh, liked uh, decorating it. I think it's very, it's very lovely, quite warm and welcoming, and yeah, really enjoy that. So we're back in the bedroom, just you know, adding some finishing touches so that it doesn't look so empty. But yeah, there's not that much in here. So once I place a few things uh, in this hall, I'm going to work on the bathroom. And it's a combination. I think I mostly used the eco lifestyle pack and the tiny living pack. And oh my god, these two go so well together. I was I, like, I wasn't surprised, but I genuinely love this bathroom. It's probably my like it's probably the most favorite bathroom of mine that I've ever made. I like the colors. I'm going to change the wallpaper there in a in a minute because I wanted it to be uh, cohesive with uh, the bathtub. But yeah, it looks. I don't know. I I just liked it. I just like it a lot. So I'm just placing some toothbrushes and and soap. So it's it's like um, it's like it's decorated decorated in quite uh, a normal way I would say. So I'm adding some uh, items for hobbies and activities because those are always useful I think, and your Sims do appreciate them. Um, so this house, like I said, is a family home. So as you could see. Uh, it's for a family of four, so parents, uh, a toddler, and a child slash teen. And it cost 66,479 simoleons. So it's a bit more expensive, but um, I mean, it doesn't look cheap. I hope it doesn't look cheap. So I think the price makes sense. And it's not too expensive either. At least I hope not. <laughs> so here I'm just adding a bit of landscaping and finishing like the exterior of the house. I think some lighting. I always do that as I usually forget about lights. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite simple. I wasn't too bothered by it. And oh yes, and I'm using again a mixture of eco lifestyle and tiny living. I think uh, that's what I did there. Most. 
but if I'm not mistaken we're coming to the end of the video so this build is available on the sims 4 gallery my id is bohemian underscore ronnie you can also find me on twitter and instagram the handle is same across all platforms and if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a like or write a comment because i would definitely appreciate it and um if you'd like to see more of my speed builds you can also subscribe to my channel i'm just working on some finishing touches uh i'm actually remaking the roof pieces that i kind of wanted to use to make this house a bit more it a bit more individual a bit more unique uh so now i'm just changing everything and making and making it round uh and yeah i think it it gives uh like it gives the house some some sort of character and some sort of like it's peculiar this way and I and I like it this way because it looks like it was designed for the people living here and I'm enjoying this. So I'm just placing this last roof which means that we're really at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!